I wrote a really heavy chapter yesterday. I'm still in the planning stages of writing, rewriting completely, uh, my book on DID and cult torture. And so I will summarize some chapters, but I will also end up writing some chapters, at least writing like the body language, the dialogue, maybe a little bit of the setting. And I need to go back later and flesh it out. But at the moment when I'm working on it, um, I'm just getting it out on the page. And uh, I started with a chapter that was on inner communication with parts inside or people inside. And then it moved into a trauma memory about child pornography. And it was heavy and hard because I was drawing on my own memories of the child pornography to write it. And I was also trying hard to not put in too much detail and too much sensory detail so that it wouldn't overwhelm the reader, but still get the emotional impact. And it was heavy. And so close to the end of it, I hadn't finished the chapter, but close to the end of it, I'm thinking like, this is really hard and heavy and I'm really tired and I don't want to do anymore. And I actually took a really long extended break and it was good for me emotionally and psychologically, and I needed that. And then when I was preparing my food, I suddenly thought of how the chapter could end in a way that would work well and is still working with the trauma. And I ran over and wrote it out, and it felt so good. And it felt so good that I actually took uh, an emotional, like, took a break that helped me emotionally, psychologically, and gave me a rest too because I was so tired. I'm physically, mentally tired, and it was lovely that taking that break, which helped me emotionally, also helped my work. And that's something that I want to remember, and maybe something that is true for you too, that when we take breaks, when we are actually tired, or we're worn out, or we're too stressed out, that when we come back to it, we, we can have even better work.